Hi fur moms and fur dads, I'm Gretchen Felido reporting for the Royal Canon Channel. As you can see, I have a lot of chihuahuas. In today's furry news, these chihuahuas will surely make your heart melt, just like what they did to me. So why do I love this particular dog breed? Well, what's not to love? Let's unpack the adorable details. Chihuahuas are fiercely loyal. Originally bred as companion dogs, they make for great furry friends as they want to stay by their master's side all the time. Here they are, always beside me. Now, being one of the longest living dog breeds, Chihuahuas have an average lifespan of 12 to 18 years. While other dog breeds rank higher than Chihuahuas in terms of dog intelligence, they possess a keen ability to understand human emotions. Where these lap dogs fall short in learning or obeying commands, well, they make up for it by being smart communicators. And they can also learn tricks quickly and respond well to positive training methods. There are no dull moments with these energetic chihuahuas, right Simba? They're so fun to be around with and these little doggos are always ready to cheer you up, especially on your bad days. So after a long day of work for me, no matter how stressed I am or even if I'm feeling down or sad, I just play with them and instantly I have the smile back on my face and I don't know, there's just something about dogs that really cheer you up and their unconditional love really exudes and they just make me so happy all the time. They may be small, but make no mistake, they are not frail. Right, Lily? Chihuahuas are known for their sass and confidence, and they are alert and very distressful of strangers, making them the world's smallest guard dogs and watchdogs. The true origin of chihuahuas are still up for debate up to this day, but most historians agree that the tiny dog breed leads back to Chihuahua, Mexico, where it was named from. Dating back as early as the Mayan times, they're believed to be the direct descendants of the Tichichi, a small desert canine that has been domesticated by the ancient Toltec civilization. Other studies suggest that the Chinese crested may have crossbred with the Tichichi, making up the rest of the Chihuahua's DNA. Such a cool history, right? Known as purse dogs, these little Chihuahuas can be your companion wherever you go. They're the smallest dogs in the world, weighing as light as one kilo and can stand up approximately about five inches high. Chihuahuas are so adorably tiny, making them even more lovable. According to the American Kennel Club, there are only two types of chihuahuas. The smooth coat and the long coat, like Chippy. Lily is a smooth coat and Chippy is a long coat. But under these two groups are several other Chihuahua varieties like the deer head, the apple head, and the fawn Chihuahua as well as the pear head. Chihuahuas have a big dog attitude. Fierce and feisty, well, they can rule your home with their mighty character. Well, despite their size, do your boat post, Lily. Boat post! <laughs> they have a big personality that can capture anybody's heart. Chihuahuas are among the most loving dog breeds and would happily accompany their owners anywhere and everywhere. Well, it's no surprise that the Chihuahua is one of the most popular dog breeds. They're deeply affectionate and make for excellent cuddle buddies. And of course, these little pooches are amazing companions for life. So those are just some of the reasons why I fell in love with Chihuahuas. And I'm sure all the fur moms and fur dads out there could relate with me. And now we have the privilege to interview Doc Kitsi Torres, Royal Canon's resident veterinarian and scientific communication manager. Hi, Doc Kitsi. Hi, Gretchen. So let's talk about chihuahuas. Yes. First okay. and foremost, I think nutrition is the mm -hmm. most important and vital for dogs. So what do you suggest for chihuahuas? Yeah, so of course for chihuahuas, um, it's important that you consider you know, a lot of factors. Their age, their lifestyle, or their sensitivities, and even their activity level. So you have to choose the right food um, for those. And you have to remember that food is the fuel for a dog's vital functions. So you have to give them a diet that is completely balanced, that is not um, in excess or deficient in any of 
the nutrients because that can also have adverse effects on the dog. So what I do with my puppies, like Lily, she mm -hmm. eats three times a day. Yep. And then for the adults, I make it two times a day. Is that correct? Yes, that's definitely correct. You have to feed them around three times a day. And then you can transition to two times a day when they're six months um, and older. So chihuahuas, they are puppies for up to eight months. So that's when they stop growing. So until then, their puppy diet has to have energy, mm -hmm. protein, vitamins, and minerals. They need more antioxidants like vitamin E. Um, they need highly digestible proteins in their diet. So and fiber. That, and fiber, yes, because yeah. small dogs, extra small dogs, they're very prone to constipation. So they need lots of fiber to help, um, you know, intestinal transit and to yes. produce um, good stool quality. And always a fresh batch of water yes. available for them. Yes. They, they love to play inside the house. Yeah, definitely. So always provide clean and fresh water, not only inside the house, but also because, you know, they're always with you. Yes. Right? You can bring them everywhere. So you always have to bring um, water with you, especially during the summer. So right mm -hmm. now we're going to summer. So always have that water um, with you. The reason why I loved uh, Chihuahuas also is because they're so low maintenance for me, mm -hmm. especially smooth coat. Like when I bait Lily, it's literally like two minutes and she's done. And for party, a little more and some conditioner. So for grooming, what are your tips for chihuahuas? Yeah, so definitely any type of dog, short or long hair, they need to be groomed, okay? But for long coat chihuahuas, they need to be groomed at least two to three times a week so that you can avoid tangling and then matting. But also, you have to trim their nails, yes. clean their ears, and also brush your teeth. Yeah. <laughs> and then Doc also, I noticed with party, so mm -hmm. she bathes once a week, mm -hmm. but then I always, like what you said, comb her to yeah. avoid matting. I noticed that there are natural oils that come out and make her coat even better, yes. like when I constantly groom her. Yes, that's true. It's like with us humans, right? We brush our hair, you know, a hundred times, they say, so that the oils will come out. So you do this every day. Um, it's also bad to bathe your dog too often oh, because they, they need those essential oils. So if you bathe them too often, um, their skin will dry out. So that's not good either. What about for exercise? I love chihuahuas mm -hmm. because like what you said, they're purse dogs, they're so small. Yeah, yeah. Um, they don't really need to be walked outside too much because they mm -hmm. get tired easily and they have small legs and feet. Yeah. So actually roaming around, running around in the house is actually perfect for them. Yeah, is that but, enough exercise for them? Yeah, definitely. So you can let them run around in the house, but you can also let them you know, walk around a few blocks. Definitely no long walks, no running, no hiking. <laughs> and then as they get older so they have long lives so chihuahuas as you mentioned earlier they have they're known to live long 12 onwards 12 onwards yeah. so all throughout their lives you have to make sure that they're fit so once they're older you can still keep them active by maybe playing fetch inside the house mm -hmm. or providing more interactive toys um, food puzzles because that will also you know stimulate their brain and keep them healthy not only physically but also mentally speaking of training and mm -hmm. playing yeah. What do you suggest for chihuahuas? Because sometimes they can be very stubborn, but yeah. then they're also smart at the same time. Yeah. How do you train them? I agree. So you have to start very early, you know, start during their start of life, during their puppyhood. That's when you start training them. And you can use actually their kibble so you don't give them too much treats. Yeah. So you use that for obedience training. So they're very much um, eager to please okay so they will listen and yes. if and if they are food driven as well mm -hmm. they will follow you um and what's important in training them during this crucial period during their start of life is that early on they'll know that you're in charge I know, and this yeah. will avoid them being too assertive agree so i have to be the leader of the pack yes exactly. because if not they're going to be pushing <laughs> me around and bullying me and not following me exactly so are there other things that we also have to consider when it comes mm -hmm. to small breeds like chihuahuas because i had a, an experience before that they mm -hmm. experience hypoglycemia mm -hmm. which i heard is also very prone for small dogs yes definitely so hypoglycemia or low blood sugar is maybe one of the most common things that you have to watch out especially for puppies so to avoid hypoglycemia make sure that you feed them um, always at the right time you know of the day mm -hmm. 
and like we said earlier when they're puppies feed them you know three times a day and then adults two times a day so this will avoid that very low dip in energy mm -hmm. you know if you don't feed them at the right time but also follow the feeding guide so it's always important to follow the feeding guide um, at the back of your food pack so you don't want to give too much you, you don't want to give too little just the right amount yeah so what about for for parents that are mm -hmm. just starting out getting a chihuahua mm -hmm. planning to get a chihuahua what do they have to consider well definitely they have to consider if a chihuahua is right for them mm -hmm. right so chihuahuas are not for everybody so i suggest do the research you know study and see if the chihuahua is right for them and then once they believe that yes uh, chihuahua is perfect for me then again make sure that you give the right nutrition so not only when it comes to um nutrients the it has to be balanced but also you have to choose a diet that where the kibble size is you know just the right size form and shape mm -hmm. for the chihuahua yeah i remember one of my dogs simba mm -hmm. um he loves to jump a lot yes. what happened was i think one of his hip bones or had like mm. subluxation mm -hmm. and it was out of place. Yes. That happens for small breeds too, right? Yeah, so this is another thing that you have to look out is patellar luxation. So mm. small dogs like chihuahuas, they may have the loose kneecaps. Mm -hmm. Okay, so avoid um, them jumping off from high places yeah. too much. And when they're young, make sure that you exercise them on rough surfaces. This will make their um, joints and their bones stronger. Unfortunately, because they're also very small, they're yeah. prone to fractures. So True. very carefully, you know, don't let them up on high places because I've had a lot of patients, chihuahua patients, unfortunately, that have had fractures. Mm -hmm. And another thing that you should look out for because they live really long uh, are eye problems. It's true. Like cataracts, glaucoma, and, glaucoma yeah. and also heart concerns. So again, this is where nutrition comes in. So that's why you have to really select a diet that's tailor fit, that is really made for chihuahuas um, from puppyhood to adulthood and onto their aging years. So our message to all our fur moms, fur dads, and aspiring mm -hmm. fur parents, Doc, with regards to taking care of chihuahuas. Yes, yeah, so again, for um, aspiring fur moms, fur parents, for chihuahuas, make sure that you give them the right nutrition during their start of life, because this is a very crucial period. Make sure to train them and, you know, assert that you're the boss. And most especially, please, Take your pet to the vet, you know, not only when you need to, not yes. only when regular they're Regular checkups, regular so check important. Very important. We, as vets, we love seeing your pets, you know, every year, even more than once a year. So please take your pet to the vet. I suggest that they don't go there just when it's emergency. Exactly. That's really so stressful. Exactly. So when your dog is always in tip-top shape, mm -hmm. you can be sure that, you know, they're in the best of health. Mm -hmm. They can live longer lives yes. and they can stay with you for the rest of you know their lives and give you unconditional love. Thank you so much, Doc Kitsy, for all the tips that and reminders that you shared to all our fur parents out there, and of course to all the aspiring fur moms and fur dads who want to take care of chihuahuas. That was really insightful and I also learned a lot today. Now, if you have any questions or pet-related topics you want us to cover, let us know through Royal Canon's social media accounts. Message or tag us at Royal Canon PH on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Twitter. See you in our next episode.